have resumed. The FAA did tell us there was another plane on the runway at the time of the hard landing, but couldn't confirm if it was involved in any way. A hard landing from a Kanikai Air Cessna 208 caravan on Saturday morning. These images show the impact to the aircraft and a tire that fell off on the grass. I seen the plane on the runway. Um, it was down like the wheels were damaged. And um, the rangers, park rangers were there already. Um, escorting people off of the plane. The Federal Aviation Administration confirmed the gear collapsed after the hard landing and the aircraft then went off the runway. Nine people were inside at the time. A hospital employee told us a patient was also on board, but nobody was seriously injured. Shannon Kalani Ali Iloa Crivello heard the crash on the scanner and arrived on scene after it happened. As far as like, the, uh, the patient, yeah, we, we helped the patient. That was our main job. But other than that, was our care home staff took the patient in, and um, the tourists and some of the visitors were fine. The plane left Oahu at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning and was scheduled to arrive in Kalaupapa at 8.35. Now, because of the small size of the runway, no planes were able to leave or land in Kalaupapa. This video shows the runway at Kalaupapa. According to the Hawaii Department of Transportation, the runway length is under 3,000 feet. It's a two-direction runway. You know, it's runway 5 and 2-3 um, direction that you're coming. You, you don't have no... Um, um, error for crosswind landings. You got to make sure your landings, you know, are, are set properly and ready to go when you're coming in. You got to really think about it because um, there is no other crossing runway there that you can use. The FAA confirmed there was another plane at the end of the runway, a Cessna 172, but told us it's unclear if or how it was involved. A witness who didn't want to be identified told us that plane landed on the runway shortly before the Makanikai aircraft then hit the runway and lost control. George Hanzawa, owner of George's Aviation, told me on this runway, it's up to the pilots to communicate when they are landing. There is no controller at Kalapapa. The pilots are talking among themselves on a, on a, uh, a discrete frequency, mm -hmm. so they're in communication. So when a pilot is, is approaching to land at Kalapapa, they make their calls, letting them know what their intention is. We reached out to the owner of Makanikai Air and the NTSB and we'll let you know when we hear back. We will also keep you posted on any updates from the FAA. Alex Serbal, KHON2 News. Thank you, Alex. Digging deeper now, you may remember about three years ago, a Makanikai plane crashed off of Kalaupapa. That was December 11, 2013. The single-engine plane lost power because of engine trouble shortly after takeoff and went down into the ocean. The state's health director at the time, Loretta Fuddy, died as a result of the crash. The pilot and seven other passengers survived. An NTSB report on the crash later said Fuddy's life vest was too small for an adult and was also defective.